okay, the, um, they want us to write this with the same index. And so I'll, I'll put this down. This is, the first one's three to the one half power. The second one is seven to the one quarter power. And the third one is gonna be 15 to the one sixth power. Now, what's a common denominator there? It would be uh, 12. So I'm gonna say 15 and then 12, and that's gonna be two twelfths. This would be seven, three twelfths. And this one over here is gonna be three to the six twelfths. All right, six twelfths. Now, certainly, um, I'm gonna write, these are all 12th roots now. Whoops. Well, it's gonna be 15 squared, seven cubed, and three to the sixth power. All right, now, I'm not a big fan of this, but, you know, I, I'm gonna multiply it out, all right? Because we want them all in the same index. It's a 12th root. So it's gonna be the 12th root, and then you gotta expand um, three to the six. Well, let's see, that would be 81 times 81. Let me put this on the side. Let's see what you get. You'd get 81, one times 81 is 81, and then you get eight times one is eight, eight times eight is 64. And uh, let's see if I did that right. You know what, I made a mistake already. Let me erase that. I have to erase. Where's my eraser? I did something crazy there in a multiplication. Um, three to the six is gonna be, and I, I really did something crazy. Three to the six is gonna be three to the fourth times three squared. Sorry about that. So what's three to the fourth? It's 81. What's three squared? Nine. That was my mistake, by the way. That's nine, and nine times eight is seven, two. 729. All right, we'll look at the key later. The next one's seven cubed, which is not that bad. It's the 12 root of 343. Now, 15 squared also isn't that bad. That's 225. Let's get a red pen out and see how we did. Seeing it? I'm seeing it. And I'm seeing it. We're done.